The offensive line is often referred to as a team within a team, a unit that is integral to the execution of the whole, and whose success is dependent on every member working together. Duke's offensive line had a unique opportunity to come together this summer, when 10 of the Blue Devil blockers traveled to Ethiopia for a service project. Building wells in a rural community, the players expected a physically and culturally challenging experience, but no one could anticipate just how life-changing this opportunity would be. Organized by junior guard Dave Harding, the project focused on bringing fresh water to a village of 600 people in rural Ethiopia. The linemen spent 10 days in Africa drilling wells for the nonprofit organization Water is Life International. By the time they left, safe water was flowing through two wells, greatly impacting villagers who previously had to walk miles to the nearest water source. It was unlike anything that I've ever experienced in my life, definitely. I'd done a little bit of international traveling, but nothing uh, very significant. So I was really looking forward to the experience going in. I didn't know much what to expect, but Ethiopia is a beautiful country, first of all. The, the terrain there, it's surrounded by mountains most of the time, and um, it was just uh, really incredible to get to interact with the people and see their outlook on life despite their circumstances a lot of times and stuff that we can't even imagine happening in the United States a lot of times they're looking at it positively and they were certainly appreciative of what we were doing and helpful uh, to us also. Western civilization has always taught us that poverty is more like um, materialistic, it's always a material thing but I saw over there that poverty is more like a state of mind to them because I saw some of the most happy people, and people that are enjoying life, that have absolutely nothing over there. And um, it, just, it just showed me that we have you know, more than enough over here. Um, we're beyond blessed. The Blue Devils also spend time interacting with the children of Ethiopia, volunteering at an orphanage and conducting a sports clinic. It's easy to complain, going through fall camp, running, lifting. Uh, you know, we have fun, um, but we struggle also. You know, it's, uh, Division I football is not easy, and it's not meant to be easy, but at the same time, we're doing it for fun, and uh, we're doing it uh, out of love for the game. And there are people that struggle on a much harder level, um, you know, living from day to day, really hour to hour, trying to find, you know, enough food just to get by, living on the streets. And, uh, to, and they have no choice in the matter, you know? And, and so that, that perspective really makes you grateful of you know, what, what we've got here, the wonderful facilities that we have at Duke and the, the great opportunity to play in front of thousands of people every Saturday. Dave on this trip was just, I mean, he spent multiple summers in Ethiopia and lived in Jordan for a while as well with his parents doing missionary work there. I think it's just pretty impressive to see some of the uh, experiences that he would have had growing up and um, how different it was from my experiences but uh, at the same time now we're both here and it's just interesting that he brings such a different perspective to Duke football I think and it was uh, def definitely helpful as far as making the rest of us feel comfortable there because he he uh, has some old friends over there but people couldn't believe how big he had gotten in the last four years since he had been over there but I'm definitely glad that we were able to get the trip organized, that I was able to be a part of it, and um, especially with all the guys that went over there. Dave Harding and his family have just, uh, you know, talked and talked since the recruiting days. Of, but wouldn't it be great if we could take some players to Ethiopia? And Dave started talking about it as a freshman, and uh, I think it was to the point where I had to learn a little bit more about what it all entailed. And I think Dave had to understand and mature a little bit and realize this is a huge undertaking. Um, and both happened. So we talked and said, let's go, you know. And But understand you're going to have to get parental uh, approval. You're going to have to get all of the things that have to happen in due time. You've got to have passports. You've got to have permission. You've also got to raise money, which is not a very easy thing to do. So a lot of hard work and passion went into this trip before they ever left. And I was really pleased that they were all so passionate about it. One of the better stories was Lakin at the last moment because he had to get his passport from the Jamaican 
embassy. At the, I mean, right down to the wire, they didn't think J Lakin was going to go, and he had to drive to Washington, D.C. by himself to get it all done. But they all played a part in the planning of that, and uh, it was, it was a truly a great sign of teamwork. Um, really, brotherhood is what you saw out of that. One of the lasting benefits of the trip was the bonding that took place between teammates who rely on each other so much on the football field. Once you leave RDU and you're flying over the, the Sahara Desert and you look out the window, you know you're not in Durham anymore and uh, your, your comforts of home are gone. And so you get to know these guys on a very personal level, um, a level that you know, they're, they're outside of their comfort zone, outside of things to hide behind, no you know, eye message or anything like that. And uh, so to really you know, talk and to, to digest and to work through and struggle through a lot of the, the situations that we were presented with and that we saw um, is something that really I think is gonna just, you know, we're, we're gonna be seeing the result of that for months to come on the football field, off the field. And so I thought that that was awesome. It's just really awesome to be able to do service work like this around all of your teammates, or so many of your teammates anyways, and uh, it was really cool to be a part of that with them. I don't think it would have been near as rewarding if I had gone by myself or with a group of people I wasn't as familiar with. I think that it uh, was also a powerful kind of team building uh, exercise for us as well and definitely built some chemistry and we got to see uh, each other in a light that we may not get to see each other in very often. It's something I never thought I'd do in my entire life, something I always wanted to do. Um, it was just it was wonderful uh, seeing people that don't have a whole lot, but um, they're still happy. You know, uh, it's just, it was, it was life changing. It changed my life. I definitely know it changed my life. This trip has changed them in ways that they, they can understand and talk to you about today but uh, I think it's also changed them in ways that they won't understand for, for years to come and uh, has really, you know, planted, I hope it's planted a seed, you know, of, of you know, realization or of appreciation for, for the things that we have um, that will, will grow into something special.